This tutorial will demonstrate how to add personnel and access assignments in the bright blue access control system. From the bright blue menu, select Personnel. Select Add New Person. Add the cardholder's last name. For this example, I will add myself. Next, add the cardholder's first name. You can also add the cardholder's middle name or initial. The activation date is the date the cardholder's access will become active in the system. The software will default to today's date, but it can be adjusted if necessary. You will also choose an expiration date. The expiration date is the date the access will stop working. The software will default the expiration date to December 31st of 2199. This, of course, can also be adjusted. A cardholder can be blocked from all access by selecting the Access Blocked checkbox. A cardholder marked with special access privileges can get additional time to access a door. Special access timers are programmed during the door setup process. Controlled anti-passback is used when entry and exit readers exist in the system. If controlled anti-passback is checked, the cardholder will have to follow entry and exit reader rules. For example, once a cardholder's credential is used at an entry reader, the card will not grant access again until the user swipes a card at an exit reader or for a specified amount of time. When doors are placed on an automatic unlock schedule, they can be set to not start the unlock till there is a valid first person in access at the door. Selecting first person in will enable this user to begin an automatic unlock at a scheduled door. Add any additional personal information if any user defined fields have been enabled. It's always a good idea to save your changes often. Select the Credentials tab to continue. Add the stamped ID from the credential. Add the encoded ID for this credential. Issue codes are used for MagStripe credentials. If applicable, enter your issue code. If you are using card plus pin, enter the desired pin number for the user here. Again, it's always a good idea to save your changes often. Select the Access Assignments tab to continue. Select the Add Remove Change Access Assignments link to begin. Select the door or doors that will be accessed by this cardholder. Select Edit Details to set the access parameters for the door. Select the time zone for the access to this door. Please note if the time zone doesn't exist, you'll need to create it. See the tutorial on adding a time zone for more information. The credential can be enabled to toggle the door. A single swipe at the reader will initiate a standard access. A double swipe at the door will initiate the toggle. If the pass-through option is selected, this credential will be able to access this door even if it has been placed in a lockdown. If necessary, access to this area can be blocked. This feature is useful if access is only to be temporarily blocked. If the access is to be completely removed from the cardholder forever, it can also be deleted from the record. When finished, click OK to continue. The settings applied to this access can be viewed from this main access assignment screen. Always remember to save your changes.